start recording. Welcome back to the YouTube audience. Uh, CLGFC episode 99 now. We've got Rushford Park ahead of us. That's the new star of the team. Yeah, exactly. He actually played really well. Like, we beat that team, but he played okay. Uh, the Union lost. That's not a surprise. So. <clears throat> a part of me wants to follow the adventures of Captain Zap Brannigan in the under-18s for some absolute terrible... Uh, you know, non-league side in the doldrums of English football, but uh, let me grab this because that's the after. Nice. I just got it on Cellophane's uh, Discord. I need to get it. I posted it on mine. I posted it on FGS's. I posted it on Zealand's. I need to do Gaffa's, Bizarra's, D Dill's, Caffeine's, Munu's, and um, D-Boy's as well. So... <clears throat> uh, we've got Rushford Park versus Southport Ninesdale. So Rushford Park actually has a shorter turnaround than us. Hey, our manager completed the National B license. There you go. Uh, yes. So what? Whoa, what? Why is why? Why is there a big lag? Um, so now we have two people at the club with National A licenses, two with National B licenses. Four with National C licenses. I have another coach without a license at all. Um, and I had a head performance analysis without a license. But you know what? That's It's still big to have a player, to have a National B license. So National B license, secure, thankfully. Um, Rushford Park and Southport Ninesdale. Um <clears throat> Lavery in the 10th before Hayward in the 53rd gave Southport Ninesdale the 2 0 lead. Copel in the 64th and then again in the, or Koppel in the uh, 64th and then again in the 80th meant that Rushford Park drew level before Lavery found the back of the net in the 88th. And Southport Ninesdale will take the points. They move up to 8th. They come, they pull themselves out of the drop zone with this win. So they're out of relegation. They're up into eighth. Uh, Rushford Park will remain in sixth position. So there is that. Everybody's played four. We got 22 games this season. 22 games. Everybody's played uh, <clears throat> fourth. Um, Finance-wise, I thought we were profit loss this month. Profit loss this season. Apparently, we're we're about to dip into the red in about three to four weeks' time on the season, but that's fine. Um, we did play, by the way, just an FYI for those that didn't know, um, but we did play Chelsea in a preseason friendly. We managed to play the Chelsea, and we only lost 3-2. Sure, well, Wellman's goal was a consolation, but still, we only lost 3-2. It wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. Bellevue got absolutely smoked, though. Bellevue got clapped 16-0. And then they played us in the third place playoff and we beat them 5-0. And then Fulham beat Chelsea 4-1. So, um, <clears throat> But it was nice to be able to play. I don't do Fantasy Premier. No, I don't pixelate it. I just, it's not for me. Fantasy sports were something when I was in college and I had time week in and week out to set my team and look, do that kind of stuff. That I did it. But now that I don't have any time on me, um, outside of like streaming and whatnot, I don't really, I don't really care for it. Um, <clears throat> I had Diaz and Sinister. Oh, nice, you ate today. You did real well today. So, um, a weekly staff meeting. Okay, all that's fine. You want Spaps to start diving into tackles? Fine. 
Freeman, add coaching assignment. That's fine. Remove coaching assignment. Um, I think this is fine. Move on, move on, move on, move on. We do have a, our coach member, by the way, our staff. <clears throat> we still have a staff member. Where is he? Under 21s. Staff. Andy, our head coach of our under 21s. Andy fucking Tandy, by the way. So, look at him. He'll fuck you up. Andy Tandy will fuck you up. His full name is Andy Tandy, but we gave him the nickname fucking. So, Andy fucking Tandy, man. Uh, but yeah, he runs a he runs a three four three uh, traditionally. Well, it says a five two three defensive midfield wide. I don't. I mean that. This this is not a five four three five two three right here. Uh, but anyway, so <clears throat> so I was like, remove coaching assignment from Andy fucking Tandy. Andy, I'm like, oh shit. So people think that's fake. The game genuinely gave him the name Andy Tandy. We just added the fucking part after it got questioned. So, let's see. Oh, we got to do leagues and focus. Leagues and focus again for episode ninety-nine. NYCFC still top of the East now over the Montreal Impact in second and Inter Miami third. They've all secured playoff spots. New England Revolution fourth, and then it's Columbus Crew, New York Red Bulls, Toronto FC, Orlando City, Chicago Fire. Um, Charlotte FC, FC Cincinnati are both on the outside looking in by a point. My beloved Union are in 12th. Uh, they have their six backs with four to play. Nashville is now bottom of the East on 29 points. They are 11 back with four to play, so almost eliminated. Um Literally, if Chicago win or Nashville fail to win, um, they will be eliminated. Um, in the West, the LA Galaxy lead, as do or, or by wins over Real Salt Lake. Both of those have playoff, Red, uh, have secured playoff spots. Red Bulls by smack by, by the Union last night. I know, I'm so happy. The Red Bulls haven't beat us in 14 straight games now, which doesn't sound like a ton, like. I mean, it is significant, but, like, the thing is, they haven't beaten us since, like, 2018, I think. 2018 or 2016, it's one of those, which doesn't seem like a long time. But in American sports, and, and especially MLS, you play each other. We play them, like, three times a year, two to three times a year, guaranteed, every season, no matter what. And it's, like, to have that big of a gap is amazing. You know what I mean? I hope it continues for a long time. Pain hashtag bring back the Metro stars. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I guess the thing I'm trying to say is like, <clears throat> um, there was one where like, I think it was Blackpool hadn't beaten somebody in like, I mean, literally decades. And they did event eventually it was like the first time in 30 odd years they'd beaten their rival. Because they were in two different divisions and things like that over the years. And it's like, you never have that in MLS. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. For, totally forgot about that. Um, what what should we call it? But it's the fact that in MLS, you literally play each other twice a year. Guaranteed every year. Maybe not the West. Maybe not different conference teams. But like for rivals like that, it's a guarantee. So... Uh, it's actually amazing that 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 sort of a, I guess, um, uh, there's been that big of a drought for the for the uh, Red Bulls. Yeah, we played DC a lot too, and fucking Toronto. Yeah, I hate I, DC. I'm not too fond of Toronto. I cannot stand. I absolutely hate Toronto. Um, uh. Leagues in focus real quick. Let's continue on. We, we said LA Galaxy and Real Salt Lake have got playoff spots. Um, 
And then it is Portland Timbers, St. Louis City, Austin, Austin FC, San Jose Earthquakes, LAFC, who I can't fucking stand either, by the way. They're probably the club I hate the most. I probably hate... I probably hate LAFC more than I hate the Red Bulls, and I do not like the Red Bulls at all. Houston Dynamo and then Seattle Sounders are ninth. Um, FC Dallas is a point outside looking in. Sporting Kansas City is the worst team in the league, 22 points. They're 17 adrift. There's only four to play. They are out. They're eliminated. Uh, what MLS teams do you dislike the most? Let's go down the list. I cannot stand. I would say... I'm going to I'm going to do it at a 10. Let's do it at a 10, okay? One being I don't I one being I like the club and 10 being I want to burn the club to the ground, okay? Um <clears throat> NYCFC is a 9. Uh Montreal would be a 2. Uh Inter Miami is probably a, a, an 8. New England Revolution is a 6. Columbus Crew is a is a 2. New York Red Bulls is probably a an I would say a, an eight, an eight or a seven, one of the two. Uh, Toronto, I would say, is a seven. Um, so I would put New York. Well, I hate Miami a smidge more than New York, but I would say uh, Tor- so. I would say seven point five for the Red Bulls. Toronto is a seven. Orlando is a seven. Um, <clears throat> Chicago was a four or a five. I'm pretty indifferent towards them. Charlotte is like a three. Cincinnati is a six. Um, DC is a six. Atlanta is probably, Atlanta's probably a good 6.5. Fuck NYCFC. Yeah, I, I hate that club. Uh, Nashville's like a two. LA Galaxy is a two. Real Salt Lake is a two. Portland Timbers are a one. Uh, St. Louis City are like a four. Austin are four are like a th- four. San Jose are three. LAFC is a ten. Houston is Houston's like a like a three, maybe three point five. Seattle is a three. Uh, Dallas is a th- Dallas is like a four. Minnesota United's a one, Colorado Rapids is a two, Vancouver Whitecaps is a one, and Sporting Kansas City is a five, probably. Again, ten being the ones I hate the most, and and one being uh, I actually like the club. Dude, Kimmy was at Monza today. Really? <coughs> was that where the F1 was? Was the F1 at Monza? Or was the F1? Yeah, the F1 was at Monza this weekend, wasn't it? And Ferrari won. Nice. Um, I should probably update my uh, title, by the way, because no, no longer it is. Uh, no longer am I watching the Liverpool game. Um, so let me up to update that title real quick, and we're just gonna. I meant to watch the championship games, but I really need the phone for chat. So we're going to, um, we're going to forego the, I'll I'll catch up on the championship during the week, I guess. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go to the Premier League city are back on top after Brentford lost their second game of the season against Southampton. Um, and so City and Man United are level on points at the top. Then it's Newcastle, Brentford, and Everton, all a point back. Southampton and Leicester, two points back from them in the final European places. Liverpool outside on goal difference. Arsenal are ninth. Villa 11th. Chelsea 13th. My beloved West Ham are 14th. Spurs are 16th. And they are th- uh, Chelsea, West Ham, Bournemouth, and Spurs, all three points above the drop. Sunderland are above the drop by a goal on the goal difference over Burnley. Norwich, two points adrift. Brighton, three adrift at the bottom of the Premier League. Um, Skybet Championship, Sheffield Wednesday lead the league by a point over Ipswich Town, who are above the playoff places by five goals in the goal difference over Crystal Palace. Wolverhampton Wanderers, Coventry City, Sheffield United occupy the final playoff places, the last two of which 
are only in the playoffs places. Coventry by goal difference and Sheffield and United by six goals scored. Um, over Luton Town, Watford are a point on the outside looking in. At the foot of the table, Darby County are above the drop by a point over Huddersfield Town. And then it's Reading who are two points adrift along with Blackburn who are two points adrift. Skybet League 1. <clears throat> the scum lead the league, believe it or not, uh, over Swansea City, or a point above the playoff places of Plymouth Argyle, AFC Wimbledon, Oxford United, and Preston North End. Charlton Athletic on the outside looking in by a point. Um, at the foot of the table, it's much tighter. Stockport County, uh, Bolton Wanderers, all a point above the drop. Forest Green Rovers and Blackpool are above the drop, only on goal difference above Wigan Athletic. Sheltonham Town, three points adrift in 22nd. Burton Albion, five adrift in 23rd. Chesterfield Town are, or I'm sorry, it's just Chesterfield, but Chesterfield are six points adrift at the foot of League One. How's Kimmy doing, by the way? Did he look good? So, I don't even know what he's off to up to now. Skybet League 2, Tranmere Rovers. They lead the league by two points over Shrewsbury Town. And then it's Rochdale in the final promotion spot, only by goal difference over Torquay United. Uh, Crawley Town, Bradford City, and Milton Keynes, the last of which is only in the playoff places. Uh, oh, it's joint. It's actually joint seventh with Crew Alexandra um, <clears throat> as well. Colchester United are on the outside looking in by a point. At the bottom, uh, Doncaster Rovers, a point above the drop over Mansfield Town and Newport County. Um, Vanarama National, AFC Files still lead the way by three points <clears throat> over Sully Hill Moors, York City, South End United, Dagenham and Redbridge, South Shields, and Dorchester Town, um, Gillingham, and Oldham Athletic, and Yeovil City, and Morecambe are all a point on the outside looking in. At the bottom, um, AFC Sudbury and Sutton United are two points above the drop. Northampton at town and Ebbsfleet are uh, the, the clubs that are two points adrift. Hartlepool United at the foot of the table are in fifth. Is uh, Zig still the... I thought, where's Zig, man? Did I not put Zig in the game? I thought I put Zig in the game, man. This this might I think this is Zig. I just didn't actually set a nickname for him. Or no, this is cancel. Zig had me add his manager to the game. Right? A while ago but I don't remember if this is it I want to say it is this yeah this is him this is his Triestina manager I just thought it was Zig dude I'm it Arnest slot is low-key cooking yeah <clears throat> Liverpool do look good I feel like they're gonna be as competitive as they were the final season of Klopp you know what I mean that's what I feel. I feel like they're so competitive. Maybe not title contenders, but very, very, very competitive. And certainly a uh, a um, like Champions League spot, right? So. Um, but yeah, he's still the coach. Did I give him a long contract? He, yeah, he's got a decent contract. So, avoid relegation. Did did they get promoted? Is that what happened? Yeah, Defo Champions League. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Zig got Zig's manager got um, Macclesfield promoted last season. I totally forgot about that. <clears throat> we created Zig's manager last season, and they finished in second and won the playoff. So, how about that? Um, I meant to check in on that. So, anyway. Um, but, so now they're trying to avoid relegation. So, at the foot of the table, um, so Macclesfield are 16th. 
I don't know why form isn't come up, but they're 16th, um, five points above the drop. AFC Sudbury Sutton United are two points above the drop. Northampton Town uh, and Ebsfleet are the two that are above. Hartley Pool United are three points adrift in 23rd. East Lye in 24th are four points adrift. The division directly above us, Old Mancunians, are two from two. They lead the league still by two points over Shevington and Hull Rovers. Um, at the bottom, um, Stockport, Georgians, I'm sorry, Fleetwood has AFC Blackpool reserves, Fleetwood has and Stockport Georgians reserves all a point above the drop. <clears throat> Lither than under 18s are above the drop by a single goal scored over East Manchester. Middleton and Overton sports reserves are a point adrift from safety. They only play 18 games. We play 22. We need to get into it. Shall we? Four days to go. Until the fixture. <clears throat> so. We've got. Um, oh, for the fair warning for those on Twitch, the ads have four minutes. So you got four minutes until the ad break. Um, I should start utilizing the ad breaks a little more. I should start timing the stream better so that the ad breaks don't play during a game. But I should also utilize them more to get up and stretch. Maybe I'll do that for a, d a different time when I'm, you know, actually competent at streaming. That sounds like a good plan. Um, I need to make sure that this is 88 and get the next one. Yes. Okay. So that one can get deleted. Um, I'm not going to upload the NASCAR VOD yet. Right. Okay, yes. Okay, cool. So I'll I'll upload 89. Uh, so I need to get the uploads. I have sat on the VODs, by the way, for like the better part of two weeks now. <laughs> and I'm like, bruh. <laughs> I want to clean some space off this PC. And my videos alone are a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I could, uh, let me take a look. How much, if I go to music, no. If I go to home and I go to videos and I go to properties, 205 gigs is literally the videos folder. <clears throat> so, uh, I need to get going. I still have some from when I was on vacation. Like that, that's the crazy thing. I've been back for almost a whole month, and I still have videos from when I was on vacation. Like, uh, the 66th stream. So, uh, that, that's the crazy part. Like, I'm up, I'm, I just kicked off one to start uploading, and this is, uh, I'm literally uploading 89. So, uh. And we're, we're recording 99 right now. So the record date from 89 was the 9th of August. So it's been, a, it's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute since we uploaded some videos. And I need to get back and just uh, get through them all, really. Uh, they're not, they don't take long to upload either. They're taking like about... Fucking, what, two hours maximum for a video? Usually not even that long. This one's telling me an hour, uh, 15 minutes. Now, the off-season ones will take a while to upload because they're fucking huge. I mean, the one I'm uploading now is 8.9 gigs. And um, 12, 39 gigs is one. 28.9 gigs is another. Yeah, those are the off-season vids. They're, they're, they're very, very big. Um, <clears throat> Steve Warrington, I think, was one on our watch list. Whew! Can you imagine a player? Like, the thing is, everybody looks at a player like this and goes, oh, they won't be very good. But, like, bro, at this level, they'd be tearing that ass up. I mean, this is Vanarama National player. So I'm looking at this going, God, they'd be amazing 
seven levels below the Vanarama National, you know? <clears throat> Norway leading France in the second half of the handball, 16-13. I don't have many videos left for the, uh, for the 29th of July. I have one, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 videos left for the 29th of July. So. <clears throat> and this is the handball, France versus Norway. So the badminton one next is going to be a long video. Uh, and it's group play part 9. Good lord. I didn't realize how many badminton players there were and how how many games they play. Oh. <clears throat> but then afterwards, like, I should, die. I should be able to get through like another three videos today, minimum. To maybe even more. But anyway, my goal is to be done, uh, my goal is to be done uh, day four by the end of this weekend. My only problem is we're going to be, we, we're using the side laptop to watch them and we need that laptop to record tomorrow's stream so tomorrow's stream is actually going to be coming from my old laptop so right around we're going to sell 100 tickets for the match against rushford park <clears throat> Um, we have the fifth best attendance. We've sold the most season tickets, but we have the fifth, fifth best attendance. Uh, we literally are the only ones that went with the big pitch. Uh, there is definitely something here that says attendance, right? Team detailed attendance, attendance. Attendances. Average attendance. 140. Hinesdale's got 141. Wow. <clears throat> but we lead in percent capacity. <clears throat> so. No sellouts. Highest attendance. Southport Hinesdale. 208. Whew. We're getting there. Lowest attendance was 17. Turn and district under 21s. That's to be expected. It's under 21 side. So uh, we're one of three favorites. Rushford Park are 17 to two, and the draw is seven to two. Uh, we're closing in on winning record. <clears throat> we have won 13 matches in a row. Is this for? <clears throat> oh, it's a club record. So if we win this game, we set a club record for number of matches won consecutively. It would be 14. So we were a day away from the fixture. <clears throat> so... We are almost ready to go. Uh, who is that? A winger. Okay. So Rob Crosby's homegrown. We are ready to get into the match. That's autosave. Which means we're going to tick over. And we're going to be in a match day. Hello from South Korea. Uh, Anyong. How are you? What's your favorite team? West Ham United. So... Uh, <clears throat> well, I, well, 
West Ham and Philadelphia. Philadelphia Union as well. Oh my goodness me, I can't type. Yeah, Philadelphia Union as well. Because Philadelphia is my hometown club. So they're my hometown club. Uh, wrong sleeve, because mirror. But uh, it's it's like what well, I've been. I supported West Ham before Philly were even a thing. So West Ham or Philly have a Korean player. I want I want to say it's West Ham you're talking about. Um, you know, it's a shame because yesterday I wore my jersey and I have. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, she went to Spurs after she played for West Ham. Uh, Cho So Hyun. I have her jersey. I have her West Ham jersey from like four years ago, from where she was a West Ham jersey. I got. Oh no 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 no. Philadelphia Union. Philadelphia Union. Um, I do I do like Union Berlin though. All good. All good. Um, but yeah, I do like Union Berlin. If I had to pick a Bundesliga club, they would honestly probably be them. Uh, I would probably pick Union Berlin, but um, uh, yeah, my team is Man City. <sighs> I can't. So I, I, I guess I can't knock it because they're not they're not the most popular club in Korea, right? So I, I can't, I can't make fun of you too much for it, right? Because you definitely go against, like, obviously the most popular club in Korea is Spurs. So, and then I would say, I would say the second most popular club would probably have been, um, I would imagine is uh, Man United. Um, right? I want to say, I want to say it's Man United. Yeah, I would, I would say that those are one and two in Korea, right? For part. Yeah, exactly. What a, what an incredible player, by the way. Um, so, uh, Brat is a leading level 14 uh, player, and his potential could lead him to be a level 11 player in the future. Nice. The under 18s, they 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 they, lo they lost. Benyon from the spot into 43rd, and that's it. And um, that's a tough loss. That was against what Radcliffe under 18s. Who are right here in six. So we're two, three, and two this season in the under 18s league. This is arguably one of our worst under 18s campaigns since. <clears throat> uh, um, Holland, Holland is, but uh, I, I'm still upset at him from yesterday. <laughs> we'll, put it that, we'll, we'll put it that way, King. <laughs> uh, Ji Sung is best, but Aguero is more best. Aguero was a hell of a player. Um, but um, your team lost again. Plymouth Argyle, Jake. What's Who'd they play? Who'd you all play this weekend? Um, three lungs. Is that what Park's known for? Three lungs? I mean, he... Park... I I can't forget 29... Or 93-20. I don't think anybody can. Even I can't. It was so iconic. Um, so... It's going to be very hard for the Premier League to have a finish like that for a while. You know what I mean? To a season. Um, we got Rushford Park. Oh. Speaking of Korean. Speaking of Korean. Um, where is he? <clears throat> we got one of our community members who's Korean. So, Frack, our community member, is Korean. Uh, he's Korean-American in real life, but he's Korean. Um, same with the, the manager. Uh, no, that's frack. I want the manager. The manager is Korean as well. Um, cause the girlfriend's Korean. So, uh, let's get into it. Um, who is that? Oh, he's a community member. So this is a community save of old, uh, what do you call it? Uh, basically a collective of old people who, uh, of, of, who used to support, I shouldn't say old people. They're not old people. It's a collection of people who used to support the old esports or counter logic gaming that went defunct. Um, and thank you for the follow, by the way, appreciate it. 
Um, <clears throat> but I'll let that play out because that's loud. I know that's loud. Um, Counter Logic Gaming went defunct, and all of the people on the side are former community members from Counter Logic Gaming, whether it's myself or Snicky or Parks, who you see here on the screen. They used to commentate Counter Logic Gaming. Um, Jack Lemon. MD, who you see at the bottom in the center back, he was a community moderator. Same with Sheamus on the, le on the left wing. Um, to people like Akonikun and Cookies, who were just regular fans of the, of the side. So all of these players had a connection to Counter Logic Gaming. Frack was the friend of one of the former players who used to play for Counter Logic Gaming. Um, so that's who he is. Um, but... Uh, let's get into it, shall we? Uh, we are going to get a little move on here to our, I got to get our walkout song, which is probably the weakest walkout song we've had since we, I, since the start of the campaign, but I can't think of anything better. So, um, <clears throat> but, uh, Jake, I'm sorry your team lost brother, but mine did too. West Ham lost. The Union won, but West Ham lost. Uh, they've made one change to their starting lineup since the previous match. Let's get into it, shall we? I don't know why he's always so aggressive, Jack. Like, what? Oh, his aggression increased. His aggression went... Oh, oh so now J Jack's just an angry boy all the time. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. So he's just aggressive all the time. Oh. Uh, let's, uh, let's point the finger. Uh, uh, I want to say something about the fans expect to win. Don't let them down. That, that went over kind of uh, kind of well, I will say. That went over decently enough. Um, let's get into it, though. This is our fifth game of the season. <clears throat> Out of 22, oh, I shouldn't have started Sheamus because he's got that injury. Um. He's got that, like, uh, quad strain or is a thigh strain, I think, but it's fine. <clears throat> Let's get on the go. All right, kickoff highlight underway. And let's, uh, oh, don't be a goal. Okay, thank you, Brot. <laughs> that was, he's awfully close to the edge of the box, by the way. Uh, maybe a little too close for comfort, but to the edge of the box. Uh, here we go with a third minute twinkle to Jack Lemon. And who's going to bring the ball forward? Jack, we'll give it back to Brot. Everything will reset. <clears throat> oh, there's Cookies. Cookies. Spaps. Spaps on the right-hand side. I'm going to cut it back for me. And I take an absolutely god-awful touch. McLeod. Frack cuts it out nicely. Here's a Kunikun. Another heavy touch. Ball will run out to Sheamus. Here comes the cross. Sticky! And they've just hit it wide. Hey! Koppel, he had a brace in his last game for Rushford, um, but it's turned over. Koni Kuhn, Sheamus on the left-hand side. <clears throat> uh, Sheamus cut back inside for Koni Kuhn. Koni Kuhn for Cookies, he might have straight off. Sheamus heads it back for Koni Kuhn, and that, that was just going to be always a difficult ball to handle. Really, Koni Kuhn couldn't do anything about that. Um, AFC Einsdale have taken a lead against Norcross in a battle. With, that's the second versus third battle going on there. Snicky pushed off the ball here, and Yemeno will give it back to Hankin. Smith, Brocky, 
His pass to Yumeno cut out by Cookies. And here's Spaps on the right-hand side. Spaps just keeping control of it. But his pass to Parks cut out by Yumeno. And now here's Copel. We got to scramble back. Copel. <clears throat> and I've cut that out nicely. Twinkle. Cookies. Akonikun. Snicky. Needed to hold up the ball. Find Spaps on the right. Good ball. Spaps can send his man. Yes, Spaps. Cookies. Cookies deep. The cutback for Spaps. He can go for goal. He could cross it. He goes for the cross. And that's just headed down. Here's Johnson. Heads it out to me. That's the end of the highlight. And the song. And the song. <clears throat> Twinkle. 14th minute now. Here's Parks. Spaps. Did he stay on? Cookies! That's a great save by Hankin. <clears throat> Trafford United lead at Burskoff Dynamo. Trouble for Burskoff. As uh, Murphy going to head that way. Oh, Murphy's going to absolutely get away with it. Stokonians have taken the lead versus Southport Ninesdale, by the way, amateurs. Uh, Yemeno, and he's j he's just managed to keep a hold of They're breaking here. This could be dangerous because uh, I've been dragged real wide. There's no pass that came in here, but dragging me wide opened the lane for that pass. Certainly the possibility. But that's thankfully the end of the highlight. Here's um, 16th minute now, Wilson <clears throat> to Herman. Walsh. Twinkle's taking, taking it off. He's picked his pocket. Here's Jack. Snicky. Snicky's way too deep right now. I wonder why, why is Snicky this deep? Cookies. Jack Twinkle. On the left. Oh, my God. What the hell was that pass? That was the weakest pass ever. Frack. Back for Twinkle. Somehow we still have the ball. Well, that see that is really good movement then. It's like the du the duality of this team at times. Uh, Twinkle, it's gonna go back to me. Twinkle, I think somebody's just gonna have to absolutely crack one here. Frack, twink, just just somebody take a crack. Oh, well, good ball movement and it's just cut out. Parks wins that header. Twinkle. Spaps on the right. Spaps just keeps it in. Akuna Kun could be there. And it's headed wide. Smith trying to clear it. It's the end of the highlight. 18th minute. Wilson. <clears throat> for Johnson. Back to Hankin. For Broccoli. Brocky. Absolutely booting it forward. Jack for cookies. Snicky. Snicky. Good passing lane. Parks. That cross a little too early, I think. Sheamus might run this down. Cross comes back in. Snicky. Can they be there? No. It's headed away. It will be a corner. Frack will take it. <clears throat> it's headed up all around. Myself. Sheamus having a go. It's, oh, it's... Bounced around in the box. We'll go out for a throw. Here's a corner now in the 20th. Rockies won that header. And that is going to be a free kick. We gave it away on a foul. Koppel. Offsides. Koppel's offsides. By the way, King, if you're still here, it's got to be late for you, man. I hope you're all right. I hope you can sleep well. Because um, I know it is... God, it's 2, 2.22 over here in the afternoon, so it's like 3.22 a.m. for you. That's outrageously early in the morning. Or late, depending on whether you've gone to bed or not. Um, twinkle. <clears throat> Jack Lemon. Snicky. For Spaps, for me, for uh, Parks, Parks, back to myself, Snicky, 
Oh, that's taking a deflection. That's a really good save from Hankin. That took an absolutely wicked deflection. That was... Whew. That had eyes for goal, that one. Here's Frack with the corner. <clears throat> Whipped in, but Hankin has come down with it in his hands. So... Um, Thirty second minute now. Here's Herman. Copples there. It's had it out. Yameno, that is he's actually cleared the brick wall behind the goal. Jack's taking a booking, so we're gonna tell him a uh ease off tackles. What is he what is he complacent? He's aggressive. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to come off. Jack's Jack's gonna have to come off before. If I don't bring Jack off now, we're gonna we're gonna have ten players on the pitch. Twinkle, Akonikun, Cookies, Spaps, Spaps, Snicky, eyes cut out. Myself. Koppel, Twinkle, <laughs> Jack's all, what is Twinkle's, Twinkle's, what is Twinkle, Twinkle's nervous, I don't know why, Jack will give it back to Brat, <clears throat> like a great, having aggression is fine, but you've got to be able to channel that, you know what I mean, Cookies goes for, go oh my word, that's not far off. Is he going to be like, understands due to being booked? Okay, good. So Jack's not actually pissed we subbed him out in the first half. But I'm like, bro. I probably could have just shouted at him, told him to come down. There's Shibasa, there it is! Sheamus puts us in front. Really good movement. Really good header. Heck, it just can't get a hand to it. And we lead 1-0. McClud, Walsh, Herman. It's a kickoff highlight. I probably should have shouted at, at Jack and just been like, look, bro, calm down. But <clears throat> instead, I just subbed him off. So this one's headed up. Parks is going to head it away. Twinkle. Falls to Yumeno. And that is a good, good idea, honestly. But. It comes all the way through Brad, Brad, Bradley. Or, I'm sorry, Brinley. Ben Brinley. For Cookies. Cookies just has it. Spaps. Sends Cookies down. It's good, good play. Cookies can just keep running it down but the, the touchline here. He's got a cut back option. He's got a cross option. He cuts back for Parks. Parks cuts back center for me. My, uh, because he didn't go wider. He needed to go wider. Here's a cross. Sheamus back post. He settled it. Sheamus. And that is a corner. Chesterton leveled during the goal that we had. But now they've taken a little eat. Versus, um, who was it? Dury? Dur <sighs> Yamato. 43rd minute, Brocky, Smith, back to Brocky. Parks does well to cut that out. Cookie's got options now. Cookie's a Konikun, Snicky. Snicky goes for goal. That's audacious. And it sails over the bar. Spaps here. First minute of added time. That's a cross coming in. Herman's going to head it away. It will be a corner. 
we'll have a corner to pretty much end this first half. Here's Frack to take it. Frack. Henkin gloves it down. And that's going to be uh, a 1-0 lead at the half. 1.6 XG. They have a .03. So we've done very well, but we should be ahead by more. And we are not. Uh... I think we can do. I can think we can do a lot more. I think that's all agreed upon. Second half underway. <clears throat> Murphy. Cop that's a good touch from Copel, by the way, or Copel. I don't know if it's Copel or Copel. Uh, probably Copel. Uh, brought. Thankfully, he's grabbed that. Brock's got it. We're going to restart play with a ball to Ben Brindley. My leg's killing me. Shit. Sheamus. I got to get up and stretch again after this. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to cramp a little bit here from being in the chair. Ah, oh, God. Uh, I just need a more comfortable chair. Ah. Ah, oh, okay. That's a good ball. Spaps, just to take it on, man. Take it on. Spaps goes for the cross. Back post. The could be there. But Hankin comes down with it. Myself. Cookies. Snicky. Cookies on the right, Spaps. Back inside for Twinkle. Oconi Kun. He's got Sheamus in so much space on the left. So much space. Sheamus. Cut back for Twinkle. Now Frack to drag it even wider. Sheamus with a cross. Spaps back post. Spaps has got it. That's just that's just brilliant ball movement. That 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 is just liquid football. <clears throat> really. I mean, Spaps is so dominant in the air. He's, he's probably our most dominant forward in the air. And you've given him that cross. And it's it's it comes with all that triangle passing that we had, that cross. And that just is brilliant. That's just a brilliant goal. That's a very well-worked team goal. Here's Copel. I've made a tackle, so is Parks. And that's going to run out for a throw. That'll be the end of the highlight, probably. Yep. Nope. Here's Smith. And now booted clear by Spaps. It will fall to Brocky. Yemeno. Brocky. Smith. Yemeno to Wilson. We are 2-0 in the lead. Look at the top meant for Murphy. Murphy's going to get there. Cut back option for Smith. Here comes the cross to McClone, and that is over. He had the header, too. He had the defender's wrong side. He just couldn't get over top of it, and he's managed to just clip that over the bar. So that'll be goal kick into the 56th minute. Here's Spaps. Spaps on the right. Spap, that's blocked. It'll be a corner. <clears throat> Chesterton extend their lead. A 3 1 up. That corner is going to be grabbed by a handkin. Should be the end of the highlight. Eleven shots to two. We've been very uh, outside of the open. Even the opening game, we were really dominant. We just couldn't. We were, you know, pro, pro, uh, pro, prolific. No, 
They were just inefficient in front of goal. <clears throat> McClellan, that, that's a great save from Brat by on McClellan. Again, he's given the header, the free header. 61st minute. Kuni Kun's not had the best game. Frack is something. Complacent. Great. Awesome. Kuni Kun's going to come off. We're going to put in Joe Jones. Or, actually, does Wellman play that position? Sam Wellman. Yeah, he does. I want to see how Wellman, do Wellman does in the center. It's not listed, but I want to see him. Would have preferred to stay on the bench? Tough shit. <clears throat> and then also, um, Cookies could be the replacement. But I don't have an I don't have an MC. So it has to be an offensive road. The only one left to replace is Sticky. And that might be in the 75th minute if they don't score. Oh, no, that's run through to McClud, and he's absolutely stuffed it. He's dragged it wide. That should have been 2-1 right there. Without a shadow of a doubt, that should have been 2-1. Here's Snicky with the header. Can't win it. Brocky's going to clear it. Frack comes down with it. Frack, lovely turn. Frack with the cross. It's blocked. It'll be another corner. Here's Frack to take. And Hart Hankin has it. Here's old Twinkle. I think he's off sides. Yes, free kick. Twinkle's off. McKendy's on. For the final 15 minutes. Here's myself, Twinkle. <clears throat> ben Brindley. Parks. Ben Brindley. Twinkle. Twinkle. Ben Brindley. Parks. Down the wing. Yeah, gives it to Spap down the wing. Spaps. Cuts inside for Cookies. Really good find. Cookies. God, that's such a good ball across. Sheamus cuts it down. The cutback. Well. Sam Wellman has got his second goal of the season off the bench. What a good move from Wellman, man. That is a brilliant move. It's the fact that that is a really good cross, and he's recognized Shima's position, and he pulls back enough to receive the pass and have a go at goal. A much-needed third goal after the chances that uh, they had, I would say, in our box earlier. But Sam Wellman has come on. Here's – oh, Mukendi almost got to that ball. He's Mukendi. Mukendi turning on it. Mukendi doing well so far. Mukendi cut back for Spaps. It's, it's not a bad idea, but the run wasn't there. Sheamus, Frack, Frack, cross comes in, far post for Spaps, Spaps, because the back cookies off the bar. Unbelievable. Couldn't have very nearly been four. Here's the 78th minute. Couple, it's cleared by Frack. Cookies has it. McKendy. For Sheamus. Twinkle. Back for Sheamus. Back for Mukendi. Brindley. Back to Brat. And here's Mukendi. Over the top. Mukendi. And that's a good save. It's a very good save by Hankin. 
I'm going to have to stretch after this because I need to use the restroom again. I'm drinking too much is what it is. Drink the, I've drank sparkling grapefruit juice, a cup of coffee, two bo- I think three bottles of water today. So now I'm like, you know. Seventy ninth minute. We get restarted by Hankin. That's gonna be out of the way. Yamato comes down with it. Here is Bowerman. To Jones. To Koppel or Copel. To Bowerman. Bowerman bringing it forward. He's got options. He's got options in the center. Bowerman, and that's blocked by Ben Brindley to keep the clean sheet alive from Brott. And it will be a corner. Here's Walsh to take this corner. Parks heads it clear. Bowerman, Walsh, far side. Headed clear by Wellman. Here's Smith. Brokey. Back for Yemeno. Brokey again. For Smith on the left. Brokey, Johnson. Yemeno, Bro- Brocky or Brokey. That's the end of the highlight. We move into the 85th minute now. And again, we'll have that rolled all the way through to him. Norway won't beat France in the handball. 27-22. So now that's going to lead me on to the badminton. The group play of the badminton. This is a four and a half hour VOD. Holy fucking shit. A lot though. What is that? Three three men's doubles, men's singles, women's singles on court three. Uh Women's doubles, men's doubles, men's doubles, men's singles on court one. Women's singles, men's doubles, men's singles on court two. Group P? How many groups in the badminton were there? Here's Mukendi. Cookies. Sheamus. Good cross. Wellman again, but he's he's well he's well he's got too much under it, and it's gone over. <clears throat> 89th minute. Frack. Sheamus. Back to Frack. Twinkle. That's a wicked cross. McKendy could be there, but it, it is going to be grabbed by Hankin instead. It's going to be booted upfield. I've won the header. Here's Cookies. Back for Mukendi. Let's go all the way back for me. Wellman. Got an option on the left. Cookies. I think he was off. He's on. McKendy it rolls through. Here's Sheamus now. Sheamus. What can he do? It goes for Comstock. That's a great save by Hankin. That was that there was a little window of opportunity on the near side, and Sheamus went for it. Hankin shut the door. Three minutes of additional time. One back post. Hankin will grab it. Trafford United double their lead versus Burskoff Dynamo. I've won the header here. Cookies. Mukendi. Absolutely. Oh, it's going to fall still to Mukendi. Mukendi takes it wide. Mukendi needs an outlet here. Gives it back to Sheamus. Mukendi. Wellman. God, he did so well to get free as well. Damn. And he's not got it. That is that. 30 seconds left. They've got the ball. Copel. Smith. Uh, it's going to be turned over. I've got it now. Here's Cookies. Inside for Mukendi. It rolls through the Halkins. Walsh. To Jones. Copel. Smith. The whistle goes. And that is that sweet. Sweet victory. Sheamus in the 39th. 
Spaps in the 48th. Wellman in the 76th. And that is a solid 3 nothing win. Okay. All right. AFC Einsdale 1-1 Norcross. Ryan in the fourth before Welsh was sent off in the 42nd. Simpson in the 64th leveled it for Norcross. They finished 1-1, which means second and third drop points to us as uh, we win. Trafford United visiting Burskoff Dynamo. Cotton in the 13th. Brown in the 87th. And that is a 2-0 victory for the visitors. Trafford going to be up to 6th off that. Burskoff Dynamo remain at the foot of the table. Uh, Dern and District under 21's Chesterton. Dern and District under 21 Simpson in the 12th before Johnson in the 37th. And Northmore in the 40th sent the visitors 2-1 up at the break. Collins would add to that advantage in the 51st. But uh, as uh, Vanek got one back for Dern and District under 21s in the 74th. But there was no further drama. And the visitors won 3-2 Chesterton up to 6th. Uh, Dern and District under 21s remain in the drop in 11th. Staconians visiting Southport and Einsdale amateurs. And it was just Staconians the whole way. Edwards from the spot in the 8th. Brown in the 36th meant that Staconians would take a 2-0 win uh, away with them. Staconians uh, remain fifth, and Southport and Ninesdale amateurs drop to 10th off that loss. Walmer Bridge and Manchester Saints Athletic. You had to wait a long time for this one, but late drama as Milligan in the 84th gave Walmer Bridge the only goal of the match. Manchester Saints Athletics. They talked smack about us at the start of the season. They're not doing too good right now. Uh, not a good look for them. Walmer Bridge remained fourth on 10 points. They've joined Norcross and AFC Einsdale there uh, on 10. <clears throat> and uh, Manchester Saints Athletics are still just two points above the drop in ninth. We'll do the post-match press conference, and then I will run off to use the restroom because it's becoming a desperate need very quickly. But let's... Uh, Let's see if we got a post-match press conference. We do. Let's go and attend that press conference and kick things off with the first question from Carl Chandler, BBC Radio Manchester. Uh, another clean sheet, and it's now 347 minutes since Brock last conceded. Uh, he's been an absolute hero for us so far in the Mid Lancashire District. You have 100% record. Can you keep this remarkable run going? Confidence sky high. Uh, that was from Matt K. Manchester Evening News. That is the only question to the press conference, surprisingly. Um, she missed in top form as CLG dominate. That we did. Uh, that is going to cause for a cheeky save. And we are going to end the recording here. So thank you so much for watching the VOD. If you're on YouTube, it was CLG FC. It was episode 99. We got the big 100 up next. We're not going to do anything special for it, sadly. But we got the big 100 next. And that's the next match against Staconians in seven days. Until then, thank you for watching. Take care.